is chadhvi kala just high spirits well in order to really explore that we need to look at the complete line how it is utilized in sikh culture actual line is which is repeated at the end of ardas twice a day in congregational settings of the sikhs is nanak naam chadhvi kala tere paane sarbat da pala we have taken chadhvi kala and sarbat da pala and we have appropriated them rather misappropriated them. so it's saying if you want to follow the ideas in the house of guru nanak sahab then it is naam it is identifying with that force identifying with that one that produces what chadhvi kala which is rising power you rise you feel that power within you which is in the creator as well as in the creation but it is identification with the one which produces that and an outgrowth of that is tere paane that it is in your will it is under your command implying the one's command that forces command that there will be a benefaction for humanity it is not my effort or your effort or some institutions or certain people or certain philanthropies effort which produces the benefaction for humanity the betterment of humanity is an outgrowth of as we get sync in the command of the one and as we identify in the house of guru nanak with the one we are able to rise in power as well as become benefactors for humanity that's the complete path